So today we're going to be looking at an 820-00165 MacBook board that doesn't turn on. Let's see if we can figure out what's wrong with this MacBook and make it work again so that we can join the innovation economy. Now, we're going to put this on the desk. First thing we're going to do is see how much power it's drawing from our power supply when we turn the power supply on. If you want to check out Paul Daniels' software, check out pldaniels.com, a website that has a wealth of quality software on it. As you can see over here, it's drawing 36 milliamps. Now usually 22 milliamps is indicative of PM Sleep S4L missing. 100 milliamps, all says power, good issue. 200 milliamps, short to ground on PP bus. 36 milliamps, I'm not quite sure. So what I do here is I've got my power supply on my desk. This here is my power supply that you can't see. This is a terrible camera angle because of my tiny store. And this is it plugging into the board itself. I'm using that as a power supply. And I like to use it as a power supply because it tells me interesting things that I wouldn't otherwise know unless I measured a bunch of stuff on the board. It kind of gives me an idea at a glance what could be wrong with the board. So let's go over and figure out what it is. So it's not power god. So we're going to take a look through our power rails page on the schematic in the board view, which somebody was polite enough to provide. By the way, thank you, everybody. Just I, I think it's important every now and then to start our stream off with a thank you to the brave men and women that go out there every day and put schematics on the Internet so that people like me can find them and then use them to repair these products. So just a moment of silence and appreciation for all the hard work of those individuals, all the work, effort, and risk that they took so that we could have schematics. Now, going back over here, let's see what our Power Rails page looks like. Now remember, the G3 Hot Rails are the ones that have to be present first. G3 Hot are Rails that are on all the time. S5 are going to be rails that are on when the computer's off. S4, rails that are on when it's hibernating. S3, rails that are on when it's sleeping. SO, rails that are on when the computer is actually working. And these are typically listed as a suffix of the actual name of the rail in the list. See that? So, uh, let's check and see what we've got on our G3 hot rails over here. So I'm going to go over to the G3 hot rails. And the first one we have is a peepee -pee bus G3 hot. Now remember, in order to get a green light in the charger and for anything to work, PP3V42 has got to be the first rail that shows up. But we know that PP3V42 has got to be there because we've got a light in the charger. So, so the PP bus is going to show up on this fuse. On one side of the fuse, we get 0 volts. On the other side of the fuse, we get 8.59 volts. Hmm. Let's take a look at what that fuse is for. What's going on down there? Let's see if we can figure it out. Why it doesn't work. All right. This is a fuse for the PP Bus G3 hot. So over here, we have the ISL 6259, which is going to take our power from the charger up here, 18 volts from the adapter. It's going to switch on, off, on, off, on, off. You're going to get pulses of 18 going over here. And after the coil with those capacitors to ground, it's going to get evened out to a smooth, nice 8.5 volts. Now we got 8.5 volts here, zero over there, meaning that the fuse is probably blown. Let's just double check and see if that happens to be the case. We're going to unplug the charger. We're going to have the multimeter in ohms mode. We're going to measure that fuse, and the fuse appears to be dead. Six million ohms. Darkside1355 says, For only $80, I get to complain about Paul Daniels' software? What a deal! I agree. It's an excellent deal. And the fuse is blown. Now... Many people at this point would say, well, Lewis, just replace the fuse. Why don't you replace the fuse? Replace the fuse and it'll work. But replacing the fuse isn't going to do something. Because on this side of the fuse, we have 8 volts. This side, we have 0 volts. Something happened on this side of the fuse that destroyed that fuse. So the thing is, over this is not going to blow unless something bad happened on the other side. So we have to figure out what it is that happened on the other side. And I'm going to guess that there's a short circuit if we were to measure on the other side of that fuse. So if you do this you'll see 2 ohms, 0.9 ohms, 1.5, 1.3, 0.9, 0.6, 0.5, 0.4, point yeah, there's a short circuit on the other side of the fuse. Let's take a look over the board and see if there's anything that looks obviously wrong with it. Well, 
Why, hello. What are you? That cap is sitter right there. Now let's see what that cap is for. If we switch over to my schematic and my board view, powered by pldaniels.com, where you can find Paul Daniels' amazing software, must have for anybody doing MacBook board repair. You'll see that is a capap C7584. And with the magic of Paul Daniels' software, I can simply click on this PDF button over here, and it will show me where it is on the schematic and board view, on the schematic itself. Right here. That is a cap for the creation of uh, PP3V3S5. That is a cap on the input to the chip that does it. And that cap is on a rail called PPBus S5 HS Other iSense. What is PPBus S5 a high side iSense? And what does that have to do with PPBus G3? Huh? That's an excellent question. Let's dig in and find out. So as you can see here, that is PPBus G3 hot. PPBus G3 hot is going to go through a current sensing resistor to become PPBus S5 high side other eye sense. Now the idea over here with the current sensing resistor, we're going to want to tell how much power certain parts of the machine are taking. So PPBus G3 hot actually powers a lot of different stuff and it breaks off into different areas. So we already have a current sensing circuit on the chip that creates PPBus G3 hot to tell us how much power, how much current PPBus G3 hot is using as a power rail. But well, let's say this breaks off into the 3 and 5 volt rails, right? Let's say it breaks off into creating those. Now, we want to know how much power that's taking, so we have a current sensing resistor between here and there. There's going to be a teeny tiny voltage drop across this resistor, and that voltage drop is going to be proportional to the amount of current the system is using, and this chip is going to read what that voltage drop is, and then it's going to send it over to the SMC, which is then going to know how much current that part of the system is using, and you can typically see that in the sensor section of any sort of hardware monitor software. So, this is attached to PPBush G3 hot. So you may think of PPBush, why is there a PPBush short, uh, PPBush G3 hot short, when PPBush S5, HS, other eye sensors, the rail that actually has a bad component on it, it's because they're interlinked by this beautiful little resistor over here. So we're going to mercilessly remove that capacitor with a quick 861DW hot air rework station available at store.rossmangroup.com. Now we're going to see if our short circuit went away. I turn on a multimeter software. Will the quick be on sale at any point? Or, uh, if you want to buy it cheaper, there are websites that sell the thing cheaper. But though that, if I were to sell it at the price that that site is selling it at, I think I'd make two dollars a unit. So I just said, "Well, screw that." If somebody else wants to make two to four dollars a unit selling it, then that's all their business. But. I have employees to feed, <laughs> so I was selling them at more competitive prices prior to the tariff thing. The tariff thing really, really screwed me. But the thing is, it screwed everybody evenly. So that means the other dude selling this must be selling it with a you know a five dollar profit margin on it. I just can't afford to keep items in the store that I paid, like you know I can't afford to sell stuff at a three percent profit margin if it takes up space in the store. This, this this place has no space. So the idea with the gear that I sell is. All the educational material here is 100% free, but if you want to see us make five or you know, 10, 20 bucks, buy something on store.rossmangroup.com. But yeah, if you want it cheaper, I think T Equipment is selling the thing for 268, 269. I think it goes down to 255 if you buy it in their, um, if you log in and register, and registering for them is free. Just make up some fake email so you don't get spammed. All right, so this here is for. 5 kilo ohms. So our short is gone. Now obviously that fuse is still going to be blown so we got to remove that fuse and repeal and replace it with a new one. But before we replace that fuse, this video is brought to you by our sponsors at store.rossmangroup.com. Thank you for supporting our sponsors that help keep us in business. On store.rossmangroup.com, you can find chips, supplies, 
ultrasonics, flux, soldering stations, and more. With 4.9 stars on Shopper approved, same-day shipping from New York City, and free continental shipping over $30, you can't lose. We even offer free support, unless you're a please bro, live chat, and are adding new products every day. If you buy today, we'll throw in a special offer that your order will actually go through properly. What are you waiting for? Go to store.rossmangroup.com to get yourself some authentic Amtec Flux. Don't delay. Buy today. Yeah. Get wrecked, ad block. Anyway. Might as well get the capacitor pads as well. Someone says, by the way, you are the cheapest in the flux. Seems. Well, yeah, that's the thing. With flux, it's like, if I'm only going to make two or three bucks, I'm fine making two to three dollars off of something that costs me maybe nine or eleven dollars, right? I'm not okay making two to three dollars off of something that costs me two hundred twenty dollars. So. All right, I'm going to go find a donor board that I can get these parts from. Now that you are considered influencer, you join the Team Trees hype. Probably not. I live in I, li I live in Brooklyn. This, my store is in First Avenue and 12th in Manhattan. I'm not really sure there's any place that I can plant a tree if I wanted to. Have you ever heard the saying, a tree grows in Brooklyn? Look up the... Look up where that saying came from. A tree grows in Brooklyn. What are they getting at with that saying? All right, so now we're going to wait for the board to, dr to cool off using rapid cool technology. All right, let's see if this board turns on. We're going to plug it in and see what comes up. What do you say, guys? 500 milliamps? 500 milliamps? You think so? One, two. Oh, 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 500 milliamps. 
By the way, did you guys see that when it blinked to 500, it blinked to 559 and stayed there for a bit? 559. That's right. Eh? 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 559. Look at that. 559. This board's got taste. So that's about it. This board had a short circuit on PP Bus S5 high side other eye sense and that short circuit on this was causing PP bus G3 hot to not be present because the fuse blew. The fuse blew because it was a short on PP bus G3 hot. The short was on PP bus G3 hot because it was on PP bus S5 high side other eye sense which it's connected to because this is actually the same thing as this. It's just going through a current sense resistor so that the machine is able to keep track of how much current everything that's at being used after this point is taking. So PP bus high, uh, S5, high side of the current I sense, whatever, is going to be used by the TPS51980 chip here to create the PP5VS4 rail and PP3V3S5 rail, as well as the PP5VS5 rail. So everything that this chip is making is going to be measured by this current sense resistor over here. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. Another MacBook being returned to its rightful owner without having to pay the Apple Store tax of $750 to $1,500. And as always, I hope you learned something. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. And thank you so much for passing this stuff on by helping other people learn, by fixing stuff, and just by generally getting other people excited uh, with what we do by either saving them money or giving them that happy little kick of dopamine when they make something work again and see the fan spin, even if it is on some Apple product. Ah.